for those of you who can't see it because you're on Facebook and Insta. He's right there. He's doing the live with me. And uh, how are you, Rupa? In the other room. Oh, I'm fine. How are things with you in the other room? All well, thank you. How's That's the weather? You. How's good? How's the weather? The weather is actually uh, good. It it was raining a lot, and uh, okay. now it's become less rainy. And Rupak has actually newly become more uh, more onto Instagram and Instagram stories. For a long time, he resisted it, but now he's become rather the Instagrammer. So. This is my amazing husband Rupak, who is the co-producer of our kids and the show. And uh, so, Rupak, what would you like to say about uh, my Saturday noon live? Well, uh, hats off to you for consistency. Uh, how long have you been doing this now? I've been doing, I think, Saturday noon live. I think it's three years. So, yeah, it's been quite crazy. Uh, Acha, Anju, Joshi. Let's turn the tables a little bit here. Let me ask you. Oh, Anju says, "Talk about veganism." Yeah, so Anju. Rupa, talk about veganism. How did Anju know? Anju, Anju, how did you know I've turned? I'm vegan. Do you talk about it, Tara? By the way, Rupa, your audio is not very clear. Oh, sorry. Is it better now? Is it better? I think. Yeah, just go on, Tara. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. uh one second it's tara is no okay better now yeah better now better now yeah sorry so, so how did anju yeah, yeah. oh tara talked about it okay fine so yeah I... rupak has turned vegan rupak is vegan so he was a huge meat eater earlier so rupak tell us a bit about your veganism okay fine So I've been a huge meat eater for as long as I can remember. Uh, to the point that, honestly, until I turned vegan in November last year, I don't think I've eaten in the 15 years before that. I don't think I I could count on two hands the number of meals I had eaten which didn't contain meat, chicken, or or fish or eggs. Uh, so it was just not even a meal for me earlier. And then I got intrigued. You know, I've been experimenting with all kinds of stuff. I used to be super fit. Uh, back in 2006, around the time I met Tara, and then I put on a huge amount of weight after I started my company uh, in 2006, and so much so that in six years I had put on 30 kilos, uh, and I was extremely obese, everything. And I decided in 2012 to take control, uh, take back control of my life, and I started to lose weight and get fitter. But somehow, of the 30 kilos, I could only lose about 10, 12 kilos, right? And then I was really wanting to kind of charge through the rest of it but 5 years of you know it was a waste of i just wasn't able to the amount of effort i was putting in anyone else would really uh, have looked uh, completely different but i wasn't able to so i was experimenting with various things and i did keto and that fit perfectly with my uh, heavy meat eating lifestyle and then i started to think about you know one was the fact that i wanted to get fitter the other was overall health in terms of your cholesterol lipid profile all of those indicators and the third thing was longevity right and i started to read various things and then at the time this netflix doc game changers came out uh, and that really piqued my interest and i watched it now the fact is that game changers is a very interesting production of a film it's very uh, um it's very entertaining it draws you in and but the fact also is that it is extremely one sided and the methodology used to present the case that meat is i mean the the case they put forward is that it's almost as bad as like you have a bite of meat and you're finished for the rest of your life kind of thing right it's too extreme um and there's for you know it's very sort of um, uh the the methodology used is quite shaky but overall it does make a point which you can't argue with which is that eating less meat is healthier for you right also one can't get away from the fact that the film is funded and executive produced by James Cameron who has a 170 million dollar investment in verdient foods which is focused on creating pea protein based nutrition and other plant based food either way what i got out of that film was that i became uh, curious vegan curious Okay, and I started to look at it and say, "Can I reduce my meat intake? Does it have any uh, effect? Is it beneficial, etc., cetera, etc.?" Cetera. 
So I started on this uh, month-long journey of exploring all of that. Eventually, I uh, started going what I call plant-forward, which was that I reduced my meat intake, and for a few weeks, I was eating one meal with meat or even less or whatever, right? And then um, I, didn't, I was traveling, and I got back. I was in uh, L.A. for work, and I was with uh, my brother and sister-in-law, having a big barbecue and I said, you know what, I think once I get back to India and I was leaving for the airport that evening, I said, once I get back to India, I think I'm going to go uh, completely plant-based, let me try. So I tried it at the beginning of November last year for a few days and I thought, okay, let me try for the month. I didn't think I would last more than a few days and I was shocked to find that not only did I last the entire month and more, but I really enjoyed it. I felt light, et cetera, et cetera. And then I was like, you know what? If I can do this, then why don't I really get the most out of it to um, push my fitness levels? And so I started to listen to podcasts about it. And I came across this uh, podcast by a guy called Fritz Horstmann in Berlin, who's a vegan fitness coach. And I found it very interesting. And I remember, again, I was back in the U.S. again. And I was flying back at the end of December. And there was a, a long distance flight from New York to Dubai and then on to Bombay. And in that flight, I listened to about 15, 20 episodes of that podcast, and I was hooked. So I contacted him. I eventually, you know, you have to try for the program. They sign you up. And as of, so what I did was I took, uh, I signed up for the program. I got in, and I was going to start on the 30th of December. So from the 24th of December, the day before Christmas, till the 29th of December, I took a five-day break from my veganism. I ate everything I wanted to my heart's content. And then on the 30th of December, I started off on this journey with what's called the Game Changer uh, Academy. And I have to and tell Rupa, you... Rupa is very, very committed to this veganism. So honestly, I we live obviously with him. So we see how dedicated he is. And it's really worked very well for him. But so, as so. always, each to their own. You have to do what works for you. Uh, so, I mean, that's what we say as a family because... I think for anyone who turns vegan, the family is very much sort of, not, I won't say involved, but aware. So it's in, in, interesting to know what, uh, you know, you should be doing. Uh, the name of the film is Game Changer. Sorry. Uh, Anju is saying, wow, very inspiring. I was wondering, Rupak looked very healthy in his recent videos. Rupak, did you see that? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and... And, you know, I, I, just to finish that story, I mean, I've been now, it's been uh, uh, a little over six months, six and a half months. Or it's, uh, yeah, it's a little over six months. And I've been, I haven't felt hungry even once. I love everything that I eat. In fact, and, and also it's uh, part of it is the fitness bit and all that. And there are, you know, as part of the program, you have a coach who you can. Uh, so there's Fritz who's the main guy. And then there's a guy called Nils who I interact with a lot. And. And so we uh, in touch on chat in terms of workouts, all of that. But fitness, food, food is most imp the, the most important part of all of this. But what I can say is this, that I uh, I'm very happy that this has worked for me because I tried a lot of different things. I've lost 20 kilos in in uh, six months. And uh, this is sort of and I know that, you know, I'm, I'm sitting with my family who are uh, eating everything as they've always done. Uh, and I'm actually not missing anything. So I see exactly what I used to eat in terms of, you know, ribs and other such things and stuff that I loved. And they having it for dinner and I'm not missing it, which is the really weird thing. But it's also, it's also that Rupak has a lot of self-control. I, I don't think, like, even though people look at me and think I might be the one who's vegan because I'm slim built and, you know, I do a lot of exercise and stuff. But the truth is, I wouldn't have the kind of self-control to not eat something I really like. I think we're going to do a proper vegan chat with Rupak, not just on Insta, but on uh, Facebook and YouTube. So everyone who's watching on Facebook and YouTube, Rupak can only see me. So they've only been seeing me moving my head, listening to you, than eating while I'm listening, which I know is very rude, but it's okay with my husband. Uh, but the, the thing is that we should do one properly where you, YouTube and Insta, and Facebook can also hear Rupak's side. So for those of you who yeah. are wondering where my husband is, there he is. Oh, I showed you already, I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. I showed you. 
uh, but basically rupert was talking you're, about you're pointing his, to the buildings downstairs saying i'm there i'm not i'm i'm about 20 meters from the architecture but rupert yeah. has been vegan and um, you may have seen on the tara sharma show we did episode with virat and uh, um and sunil chetri and they've also turned vegan and apparently it is something that more and more people are doing in fact one of the executive producers of game changer nirva is a friend and uh, we were we were fellow moms we were, we went our kids went to the same nursery so it's quite cool so now rupa i'm very grateful that you've given me this time because rupa is a very busy man uh, my husband but i also make appointments to see him from one room to the other oh, so he's obviously been gracious with this time because of everyone here on insta so thank you thank you everyone thank you anju for the encouragement thank you everyone else also for the encouragement and i'd love and, to talk and more and anju uh, also point. saying vegan is the way to go and very helpful to overall health thank you anju i keep saying we'll also slowly start trying but i think it's interesting because one doesn't know with kids what the solution is in terms of whether to go that way or not so we're still trying to research that Um, yeah. So, so I, I just want to say on that. I think you know, right now, this is what's working for me, and I, I, I don't think I would push the kids on that. It should be their choice when they're old enough to make that decision. I think by yeah. default, they should eat whatever they want. And, and yeah, nice. and also, you know, it's an interesting thing now that we're talking about this, and we talk about it more later. But personally, I'm someone who actually would love to put on some weight. So I'm someone who I eat a lot. I exercise consistently. My metabolism is high. so for me it's kind of people are surprised because they always assume everyone wants to lose weight but that's really not the case so i think it's very important to find what works for you and your body type yeah uh, anshuli so, thing what's the name of the netflix film again it's game changers it's game changers um, and 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 uh, vijay vijay saying this vegan culture is already our indian culture yeah it's true especially in south india in north india we still eat a fair amount of dairy um and uh, in or in the rest of india maybe yeah i think in the rest of india we still eat a fair amount of dairy i think in southern states dairy is less prevalent in a lot of the cuisine but yes you're right there is uh, some of that and also the the last thing i'd say and i don't want to take up too much of your time because i i would love to do a separate discussion on this on all channels um is that it's not only good so i i got into it because it was good for my fitness but it's also good for overall health and let's not forget the fact that there is a lot of cruelty to animals in um in the industries of you know processed meat and meat and dairy etc the way that we get our milk etc is completely inhuman to animals i mean it it's completely cruel the way that it's done the whole dairy industry etc that and the last part which is possibly as significant if not more than everything else is the impact on the environment the fact is that both the dairy as well as the meat especially the meat industry the meat processing industry and i hate to sound like a I, i'm not i don't want to sound like one sided kind of view etc i still would love meat i have nothing against people eating meat etc and i would if i could but i have chosen not to but i think that you know the impact on the environment um from rearing cattle etc is massive there's massive da- massive damage in the way that it's done so anyway that's all for now thank you thank, thank you so thank you rupa so that was a completely unplanned organic chat as i said you never know what you're going to get when you come on the tara sharma show or on saturday no lie thank you rupa we love thank you. you thank you love you bye thanks everyone bye, bye. that was rupa my husband and those on facebook and youtube